everyone so we'll be making a tuna cutlet at this time so I have drained out all the tuna and I'm pu putting that into a bowl and I've diced up some onions garlic and some ginger into fine pieces you can make it much more finer than this by the way uh, I don't think I did a good job but anyway now that you add them into the bowl of tuna make sure the tuna is without any liquid if it's in uh, oil then separate the oil if it is in um, brine or water or anything separate that water out really well i added all the mixture in and i added some um, green chili as well into the mix so at this point just mix it all in well um you know use a good spoon and add some salt for taste and some chili for taste and some pepper some black pepper and crack two eggs so this is my first egg crack that in in there and also have a second egg as well depending on you know how much tuna you have because I'm making quite a lot of cutlets so I put in two because I think you know it would be uh, appropriate for that amount of tuna I've got there so I mix that in really well at this point um, let the you know the egg and everything um, really be mixed entirely with all the in other ingredients and all the spices we've put in as well that it all sits in there and at this point add in a boiled potato one or two depending on the size if it's a large one you don't have to put a lot but really you know mash that into there um, you don't uh, want like lumps and pieces in there because you don't want to affect its you know consistency um, because you don't want the lumps to stick out as we're making a ball now you know um, just apply some oil on your hand and in the palms of your hands and make them into a round ball like I'm showing you here so make it into a ball and and just also make sure that when you are you know making that into a ball sometimes it could just fall apart so really work on it well it should stick together because you've got your egg in there you've got the boiled potato it all should be fine and and you know this is a journey for me and i'm still learning how to cook properly and every time i you know experience something and i'm experimenting on it like you know you just learn it through the process anyway here i'm taking some breadcrumbs and i'm placing that ball of tuna cutlet that i've made into um these breadcrumbs and coating it really well like i've shown you here um make sure you are a bit gentle you want the breadcrumbs to um, obviously slick, stick onto it but you don't want to be pressing into the breadcrumbs and uh, you know just then causing for it all to fall apart you don't want that so you want it to be gentle but i also cover it coat uh, it with the breadcrumbs a few times until it's covered until it's totally um covered and properly uh, placed um together so anyway and then you have a hot pan and pour some oil you don't have to put so many so much of oil and then you just place these cutlets um, that you have made or prepared into it so for, you can fry that up in you know in a low heat you don't have to uh, put it up into a high heat because you are also making sure that you don't burn the cutlets and you want it to cook properly and also become quite crispy enough for you as well so this is my tuna cutlet recipe and it did come out really well hope you do try it at home